Hi, my name is John. I'm the director of By Design Visuals. In this series, we've already gone through four of the seven steps in preparing a effective flannel graph story. First of all, yes, we pray. It's God's word. Second of all, we gather our ingredients together. We get our board set up. We gather our figures, our backgrounds, our overlays, all the figures that we need, and we prepare that. We gather our ingredients. Number three, and we dealt with this last time, we learn our story. We use our scripts to do that, and we showed you how to do that. You can go back and review that video if you need some help with that. You can do it as an individual. You can do it as a group. Now, we talked about doing that lead through introducing the flannel graph portion of this, getting comfortable putting the flannel graph figures on the board, taking them off of the board, practicing that lead through so you're comfortable telling the story, you can interact with a group, and you also can incorporate the flannel graph with that. Now, in the next series of videos, we're gonna be dealing with step five, but in preparation for that, I wanna to talk to you about something else today. That's preparing you. You cannot tell an effect, you can tell an effective story simply by learning it. But you are not gonna have a spiritual impact in someone else's life if you do not have that spiritual impact on your own life. And that's the process that I'm gonna be taking you through in the next couple of videos. Let me tell you a story. And I want you to remember this story and the main principle of this story because it'll help you as we work our way slowly in the next couple of videos through step five. Here's the story. There was a man that was born and raised in a small village that when he grew up, he went to the large city to get work. He stayed in that large city for many, many years. And while he was there, God blessed him and he actually earned quite a lot of money and he became quite wealthy. When he came back to the village to live, Everyone in the village greeted him as if they were his best friend in the world. Well, the man that had acquired the wealth, he wanted to give some special gifts to those who were his true friends. So he left the village for a day, and then he came back. And he gathered everyone in the village that was, you know, calling him, you know, oh, you're, you're my friend, you're my friend. And he said, listen, meet me on the other side of the hill, right where the path that goes down to the river, right where that path starts. Well, almost the entire village came and he said to them, listen, yesterday I spent all day working on this path that goes down to the river. I put some gifts there for you. Now go, find the treasures that I have for you. And everybody took off. But some of the people in the village went just a short way and they looked down and kind of scooped up some of the sand and the gravel off the path and said to each other, you know, this really is an amazing path. And they took what they had gathered from the path back to their homes and they began to look at it. They began to analyze it, look it over. Well, there was another group. They ran all the way down the path as fast as they could go. And when they got to the river, they turned to one another in some frustration. They thought, did you find any treasure? I didn't see any treasure. We've gone up and down this path our entire lives. This was stupid. We know this path. They went home frustrated. They went home disappointed. But the rest of the group, they started to walk down the path and they began to notice some things. One said, oh, do you remember that tree that fell across the path last year? Our friend has taken the time to cut that up and, and move it off the path. Oh, this is gonna be a lot easier for us and our children to walk. Someone else said, that's right. And look, you see we're on the sides of the path? You remember those thorn bushes with you know those stickers that would scratch our legs and tear our clothes? Our friend has cut all of those thorns and stuff back. He's made the path wider. This is so much safer for us and our children. This is so much easier to walk. They began to realize that the path itself and all of the work that he had done was actually a gift from their friend. And they began to walk even more slowly and notice all of the things that their friend had done. But then someone called out, look, everybody over here. 
behind a tree, they found bags and bags of rice. Someone else a little bit further down the, the path, hey, but look over here. Brand new cooking pots for everyone. They began to walk even more slowly down the path. And you know what? The wealthy man was wise enough to realize that his true friends would appreciate his work and would go slowly enough down the path that they actually found all the gifts and the treasures that he put for them. Now, the people that just scooped up the sand and the gravel and went home to analyze the path, they never walked the path. And what, remember the, the group that ran all the way down the path, all the way to the river? They went so fast, did they find any treasure? No, they didn't. And they went home disappointed. But the people that walked slowly down the path, they not only appreciated the path, they appreciated also the path maker. And they're the ones that found the treasures. Now, why do I tell that story? Here's why. Every single story in God's word is like that path. Lovingly prepared, carefully prepared by God with treasures. If we'll go slow enough down a story, even the stories that we think we know so well, there are treasures there if we'll go slowly and really look at the path, we'll be the ones to gain that treasure. But you know, treasure is not always on the surface. Where do you find diamonds, rubies, emeralds, gold and silver, iron, brass? Things that are of value are not generally on the surface. And that is also true with God's word. Next time we get together, I'm gonna to be telling you another story not a story from God's word, but another story illustration that's going to give you the tools that you need to know how to dig deep into the stories of God's word. I can't wait to share that with you next time on By Design Visuals, Flannel Graph Prep. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.